So I just did a post today on this term that I guess I've coined uh, called calorie conservation. And I mentioned that I think most Americans would benefit from practicing the art of calorie conservation. And what I mean by that is really just being more strategic with your eating in general. And one of the ways we can do that, one of the easiest ways we can do that is by having high volume foods that are lower in calories but are generally gonna be higher in micronutrients. And those two categories are gonna be fruits and vegetables, okay? Lean protein is in there too because it's gonna be lower calorie. But I think a lot of times people, they uh, when we're trying to implement healthy, healthy behaviors and healthier eating, if we're trying to lose a little bit of body fat, then we need to be strategic in how we implement things like fruits and veggies because if we're just eating highly palatable, calorically dense food, like a Pop-Tart, you take a bite, there's a lot of, a lot of calories per bite. And that is something that can get people tripped up because if we're eating that as the majority of our diet, processed food that's highly palatable, but it's also got a lot of calories per bite, then we're kind of setting ourselves up for failure and it's a lot easier to enter a caloric surplus, which means over time you're gonna gain weight or more specifically body fat, adiposity. So that's what I mean when I say calorie conservation. If we can really be strategic and practice the, the art of that, which is that's losing body fat in a nutshell, is practicing the art of calorie conservation. Being strategic, implementing fruits and veggies in a strategic and systematic way, in a routine way, then we're setting ourselves up for success because we're gonna fill up our stomachs and you actually get more food when you do stuff like this. This is the other thing that I think people tend to forget. You get more food when you're having more high volume foods that are lower calories, okay? And then it becomes this, this sustainable practice over time. It's not something that you're just white knuckling the whole time. Okay, and if you need some help with that, like if you're having a difficult time you know, trying to decipher where to start, then hit me up. Okay, that's what we do every single day with Better Self Nutrition Coaching. It's basically become lifestyle coaching at this point because we do a lot more than just nutrition. We add some fitness and, and organization, life organization in there as well. And we're always taking on, uh, or we're always wanting to take on new clients. So if uh, that's something you're interested in, hit me up and let's get you started on something right away. Okay.